Hey guys, welcome to a Goodie Reader review of the Playster 7 tablet. My name is Michael. This is Peter. Before we actually look at the software or the hardware of the tablet, we should mention in the box you actually get uh, a set of headphones as well. So you have rubber logoed on the outside, adjustable um, uh, size, and you also have uh, stretch cables so this doesn't actually take any of the the weight and the inside is padded as well as the outside and this is a very reinforced uh, 3.5 mil headphone jack you have um, a metallic I guess just the, the the bulk of it is metallic and you have a stretch protector a kink protector so it's very nice that you get uh, headphones connected um, uh, included in the pack rather so on the back you get kind of a perforated leather look although it is just a plastic so it's to keep the cost down you get a um, embossed placer logo awesome you get, you get the power button volume up and down a camera on the back a camera on the front you get an HDMI out that's actually pretty rare not a lot of tablets have HDMI out you get a micro USB 3.5 mil headphone jack trans flash which is just SD and a microphone you also get the uh, button on the outside to go to the home menu so as you can see you get the full Android experience you can do widgets and all that type of stuff. It does have the Google Play Store, so yeah. you can download anything that you want. We're not gonna teach you how an Android tablet works and go through all the settings because the main draw of the Play Store, store is its subscription-based content delivery. Right, so as you can see here, it's an app. So via the app, you could subscribe to individual aspects, books, movies and TV shows, music, games, and so on. You can see that there are well, a number. a really small font. Yeah. Uh, it says uh, downloads, about, other, and log out. So just if you need to do some kind of account stuff. Now this is a very highly reflective screen, so I do apologize about the reflection of the camera. All right, so they do have sections here for new releases and bestsellers. Bestsellers, yeah. Yep, so you can download We'll Books just, by, from authors that you know and love. We'll go through one of each of the sections to show you the content delivery. Right. So we're going to look at Frosting and Friendship. Good combination. Yeah. So it basically all the content delivery comes from the cloud. So if you click on a book, you have to kind of wait till it fully downloads. So we don't have... Uh any long presses or anything like that highlights note annotations. Yeah, if you turn looking a page, words up in the dictionaries. Right. If you turn a page, you do have to wait anywhere from one to five, maybe even uh, six or so seconds till that page loads. And yeah, there's not it's even like a, loading on the, all the pages here at the bottom. So, so you kind of have to wait for this bar to like load before you can start reading a book. Right. Now we can change the text and. Um, we can choose auto rotate and change the brightness all here. However, when you do change the text, the entire book has to load from the very beginning every single time. So do make sure that you do kind of set your text up the first time so you know you have a comfortable uh, reading level right? before you go any further into that. Epidemic, TV and film crews run out and shoot footage like this in case you don't know what fat people look like. Frankly, this annoys me. How would you like to sit down? So as you saw there, um, it did load very quickly. It didn't yep. load into the full HD image right away. And it did stall uh, a little bit into watching it. I think it's, it's like buffering it while right. you're watching now, it. No, that's the thing. Like that's, that's great that you can watch it on demand. But if it has to stall, it's kind of counterproductive. Right. Uh, so they also have a music section here. So let's look at the top charts and trending. You know, <laughs> I I think they got my favorite band on here. Oh yeah. Yeah. I think I'm gonna go ahead and say they got Tiger Man. <laughs> they do. Do they? Oh, they have a song called "Someday You'll that's, Be My Wife." That's the. Uh,
So when uh, I honestly don't know who Tiger Man was, I was just joking. Um, but when you play the music, it plays right away. It doesn't have any lag or buffer or anything like that, and you can pick it up from where you left off. Uh, we do run into a little bit of server errors now and then, but you can refresh and everything pops back up. Um, everything plays immediately, and you get a little bit of a you know image and. You get your previously played thing at the bottom. You get to choose from the list of songs. It's it's quite a good delivery system. Right. Okay, so we showed you a lot of content here. Let's check out games. Different so genres. We can look at new releases. So we can see Spider Soul Terror, Free Soul Soul Terror, Pyramid Skull Soul Terror. So it looks like the new releases are exclusively populated by card games and slot games let's play <clears throat> man what to choose uh water blast so you get your thumbnail a little bit of a summary and then you can press play okay so this is it this is club sandwich <laughs> okay a previous game was in the background there all right so the game pops up right away I don't know how to play this so uh oh I won <laughs> good for you wow you know this is a confidence booster okay well I oh but I only have one tap left oh so I, I assume gravity so oh I see okay 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 yeah so um the game shows up oh it has to be right hey <laughs> yeah so the game loads right away um granted they're not the highest resolution games and they're not the most uh graphic dependent games they're mostly slot games casual um, games you know candy crush clones a lot of slot a lot of slot games and a lot of just like puzzle games and stuff nothing is too graphic intensive on this so the playstore service i feel that would be best served for people that want to discover new artists, uh, films that they might have not otherwise heard of. Kind of more art-driven and underground content. Right. So I think that it it's definitely serves like a niche audience. Um, there's not Marvel movies or anything like that on here, but there's like a lot of art house films. And for people who love music, you're going to discover a lot of international music and stuff on here as well. Uh, for books, that's probably my favorite aspect of the device because it does have a lot of well-known authors yeah. on here, but it's mainly older titles. You yeah. won't really find anything that just came out recently. It's mainly stuff that's been out for a number of years already so let us know what you think about this playstore tablet we're going to give this away as well as a free membership to their service in the coming weeks so keep paying attention to our youtube channel at youtube.com slash goodybeater for a review of the playstore 7 and an emphasis on the playstore service itself my name is michael this is peter everybody take care